Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. MCC Theatre continues their season with Smokefall, the new play by Noah Heidel, and we are here on opening night to celebrate with the company, led by Zachary Quinto and Robin Tunney. Well, it is opening night. First of all, welcome back to the stage. Thanks. How does it feel tonight? Um, it's a whirlwind. I feel really grateful. I feel really uh, excited to be working on a new American play and working with such a phenomenal company and uh, happy that we were supported by so many people that we know and love tonight and you know MCC is such a beloved company here in the city and I feel really honored to be working with them and uh, it was uh, it was good fun. You know we spoke that very first day of rehearsal where no one knew anything it was like first day reading the script meeting everybody for the yeah. first time you all work so well together and discovering this play what was that whole process like? Uh, enormously complicated and yeah. challenging I mean you know anytime you're working on a new play. Uh, there, there's no frame of reference or context for like you know how it's meant to unfold, and so I think a lot of us were discovering things together and uh, coming up against obstacles together and overcoming them together. And uh, I feel so honored to be a part of an ambitious, big, uh, big idea, big-hearted big-minded play that's uh, that's really presenting some complicated and uh, important ideas to the audience. So uh, it's been a good good run. And working with the cast. Yeah, a great group of people, uh, stalwarts, professional, talented, really, uh, you know, everybody showed up and, yeah. and with the attitude of like, well, we want to figure this out. We want to like dive into the depths of this specific uh, world because it's clear that there's a lot to be examined there and uh, and we're just you know we're just off and running tonight so we still have another month to do that and uh, and all of us are really really excited about what lies ahead my final question is when you took your bow tonight do you remember what you were thinking um, I just remember feeling really grateful that we were so supported and uh, and that we had arrived at this moment which is you know a lot of a lot of work from a lot of people and a lot of, uh, you know, the, the, somebody said to me during this process, uh, at one of the more challenging times, somebody said, there is no theater if there's not new theater. And Noah Heidel is such a powerful and intelligent and articulate and poetic voice in the American theater to work with a living playwright and to, to work on a play that's really finding its life here in New York is, uh, is, is a great honor and I'm thrilled to be here celebrating that. You and I had spoken when you first got the play, you really wanted to do it. As you've learned the, the part and the role, what do you love about Noah's writing? I think he's a brilliant writer. I, I, look, it's very like meta, you know, and it just gets, you You, you, you never get bored of it. And you, you, there's always something like deeper to get from it every time. And you'll go, how, how could I have been saying these words every day and I've read the play a hundred times and not gotten that? And like there's new discoveries to be made all the time. It's, he's amazing so talented and like just noticing like little things and so much care and every word means something yeah being in, you know it's a whole different world theater what's been the best part of it for you with working on this play there's nothing that feels better than when you walk out and you feel like you've done well that's like the greatest high in the world and there's nothing that feels worse than walking out and feeling like you didn't do your absolute best like I can shake a bad day of work uh, on TV or in a movie, like off in the car ride home, and this you're up all night until you get to go and do it again. Like you feel like you're only as good as the last time you did it, and that you have to go back and right all of your wrongs before you can sleep again. It's really intense. <laughs> isn't it great though, knowing that you're like, oh, I can do it again tomorrow. Yeah, no, it makes you feel very alive. It's a real pleasure and like, you know, the audience is when, you know, you get that immediate thing, like you feel like you've touched them. It's pretty beautiful. Yeah. So when you took your bow tonight, New York stage debut, do you remember what you were thinking? I was thinking, oh, we're doing a third bow. I didn't... In <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm always, yeah, I'm depending on Taylor to show me the ropes, a 14-year-old. I'm like, oh, wait, she's going. I better... Yeah. It's like you're learning from the she's best, right? She's in pro, yeah. It is opening night. How do you feel tonight? I am very excited, very proud of this entire cast and crew. You are so wonderful in this play. We talked that very first day, a rehearsal, no one knew what the play was. You had met everybody for the first day. What was it like discovering this play? I mean, it's such a beautiful and unique play. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it, and especially this character, Beauty, is unlike any role I've ever played before. 
What's it like playing her? What an interesting character. Yeah, she has a lot of layers, a lot of things that you that build throughout the, the play. And she's just very interesting, and I love playing her. What do you love about the play? Noah's such a wonderful writer. I mean, it's a very poetic play, and I think that's really beautiful about it. And it also covers a lot of topics, you know, like, you know, family and love and friendship and what it means to, you know, live a life. What is living, in a way. And working with this cast. Yeah, they're all really wonderful and really nice to work with. So when you took your bow tonight, do you remember what you were thinking? No, I was just happy, um, shocked, grateful. We are. <laughs> it is opening night. How do you feel tonight? I feel exhilarated. It's It's been such an incredible journey. I mean, there's been so many crazy things that's happened to us along the way. And um, the fact that, like, you know, this company pulled together in the way that it has and delivering uh, the words, Noah's sort of intention and vision um, in, a, in a cohesive, moving way is exhilarating. It's, it's, it's all I could ever ask for, right? Sure. Yeah. You, know, you and I spoke the very first day of rehearsal. Yeah. The cast had just met that first day. Yeah. No one sort of knew the journey they were going to go on. They knew it was going to be a great journey. They didn't know yeah. what kind of journey. Yeah. I mean, what was it like discovering this piece? Well, I mean, like I said before, right, we've done this piece now. This is our third production. And what's so fascinating is that with each new company, the personality of the, of the piece takes, you know, takes, it's, it, it changes. And so um, Noah is so nimble and so responsive in the room that um, I feel like this particular um, version of it is is owned by the actors and owned by sort of what they brought to it and their personal journeys in their own lives and because of its expansive nature it can sort of embrace all of these different personalities and experiences so it feels it you know it's its own thing all right welcome back to new york my friend Thank i you. saw this saturday night i love the play Good. love the production That's what you should. it's opening night how do you feel tonight uh, amazing. I don't know. Um, opening night's a strange thing for me. Yeah. I live in Detroit. That's why I, there were some jokes about Detroit. I can shit on it. Uh, so I go home tomorrow. And I won't see this again. And I won't see this cast. I won't see this production. So for me, for me, uh, what do we do when we, when we make a play? What do we leave? We leave uh, little residuals in your mind that you said, oh, this light is like the twin stuff. What will you remember? So for me, opening night is my last chance to look at the people I've worked with for two months and say, uh, wow, this is like, as the lights really went down, I was like, okay, wow, that happened. And now I'm at a party being talked to, but I'll never see it again. It will only exist in my, in my memory as it does for everyone who's there. Wow. So how do I feel? Like I feel wistful and proud and sad and ready to go home because I've been here a while. I love your experience with all of this stuff. See, I thought you'd be going back to see the show tomorrow. You're like, no, I'm going home. I'm, going I'm giving home. my baby away. Yeah, well, that's what you do. I mean, as a playwright, I mean, that's what you are literally doing from your mind to your hand to the cast to the theater. And then finally, and this sounds really cheesy, but now very much to the audience and to whoever likes it and whoever doesn't. But it felt tonight, it felt very external for me as a person. It felt like, how did that happen? Why are those people talking? And now it's time, it's really time for me to go home, uh, which is not here in, in this play for me. We've done this, we've done it in California, we did it in Chicago, and we've done it here. And this is my last time seeing this show with Annie as the director, and probably it'll get published after this, and then I won't be part of any production. So this was the last time I'll be directly involved with a production of this play, and it was really uh, amazing and wistful and sad and powerful and funny and all the emotions that one feels.